Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So this is the third time that I'm trying to do this reading. Um, yeah, it's been all over the place. I think just the energy. Anyway, so Aquarius in the past, the recent past, you have the Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles. In the present, we have the Six of Swords. Uh, in the future, we have the Page of Cups and the Knave of Cups. So Aquarius, um, in the past, you may have started some new financial beginning or an opportunity was presented to you. You started to just get serious about opportunities with money, abundance, and your prosperity. Um, you also started to get serious about manifestation, your resources, you know, um, starting something new, taking up a, a hobby or craft or something, something that could, you know, eventually yield you a, a return. You could have started a business or you just could have just started to get um, fit, like do fitness, um, exercise routine. Whatever this was in the past that was presented to you, um, it was an opportunity, and you didn't have to chase after it. This is the seed of productivity, and it says that it has been planted in you because you got serious about your resources, your manifestation power, because you're, you're coming into a place of self-actualization. Your life is going to be busy and full because you understand your potential, because you're at the highest level psychologically. So now your potential can be really, can be fully realized. You know, like you, you're, you understand mentally, emotionally, that in order for me to have, in order for me to do, in order for me to start, it starts with you. It starts with your mindset. It starts with your emotions. It starts with the energy that you put out. So you're in a place of really understanding that, and now your potential can be realized. Whatever you're doing, you know, it's beginning slow, but it's going to be very rewarding. Just make sure you're committed to it and committed to the hard work because you're going to have to give like 110% to actually see the abundance, the wealth, because this is just the seed of productivity being planted with you or in you. This is also the opportunity to have some passionate encounter with somebody. I don't know if you will, but the, or some of you have been presented with this. But what the, the planet that governs the Ace of Pentacles is Mars. So this is about action and drive and passion. So... That's why the Ace of Pentacles talks about a new sexual, you know, um, relationship. Because the pentacle is the physical. Physical is, you know, sex. There's an overall rise in your health and your well-being, your immunity. Maybe you may be doing some cleansing or cleanses of your body, your training. You're just strengthening yourself. Your muscles, all your muscles, what physical, mental, emotional, you're strengthening yourself uh, all together. And it looks like while you're doing this, um, well, you 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 put you bet the house on you. You started to put your energy into you, time, energy, effort into you, into starting something for you, um, all about you. Okay, um, and you could have possibly uh, six of swords. Um, moved on or moved away from like a heartbreaking situation or heartache from a previous relationship. Maybe even like for some of you, this would be like an abusive partner. This is somebody who had a lot of self-interest. They did not take into matters um, the concerns of others. Like they set 
they, they set aside the concerns of others. So it's a lot of self-interest and aggression here. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio or somebody who is, um, like there's a war inside of them and it's win, lose, or draw. When you were dealing with this person, you probably dealt with lack of communication, this person being overly aggressive, maybe even a little bit of bullying and or intimidation, or this is what you did, Aquarius. Somebody decided to fight back, you know, and sharpen their words. And maybe there was some serious conflict that came out of this because there was already an underlying hostility about maybe interference in this relationship in this friendship in this business partnership whatever it may be somebody just always wanted to be right and at times they came off as irritated when you wanted to reach out to them when you wanted to show them love affection they're very defensive in their attitude dealing with you so you decided to to six of swords, to move on. You got relief from this heartbreaking situation, this hardship by just walking away, moving on. And some of you decided to move on in silence and maybe even in secrecy. You just kind of like rationalize this moving on. You understand that, yeah, this is a great loss for me because I wanted to win over this person, win their heart. But at this point, it's nothing but bad blood between us. Because at the same time, this battle was costing you. There's a lot of jealousy and even um, uh, a lot of gossip surrounding you. This battle was costing you your trust, your respect, your dignity. You lost faith, faith in this person. You just feel like it's best to keep your distance. You want them to keep their distance and you want to keep yours in the present. Because this relationship is or it was in jeopardy anyway. This was a tough battle because there was love here that turned into just bad blood altogether. It turned into like you guys were opponents. You were against each other. Because there was opposing wills. Somebody wanted their relationship to go this way. The other person wanted to go the other way. So then there was a, there's a tug of war. And there's a fight. You decided the only way to fix this problem is to leave it and move on. Start anew. Go somewhere else. You know, chart a new path to happiness. You started to plan using like logic because you got clarity and you started to be objective about what it is you really want some of you this could be that you do want to reconcile after this and maybe you'll have the opportunity to do so some of you just saying you know I just need to move on from this relationship also, some of you understand that you need to leave a part of yourself behind. Like, maybe the part that that is self-sabotaging, you know, so that you can heal these old wounds. There's a lot of thinking because this is Mercury in Aquarius. So there's a lot of uh, ideals and idealism and thinking and logic. And then there's, you know, the unconventional, the Uranian. Uranus energy of just maybe even sporadically moving on and that's why some of you decided to either move on in silence too you just accepting the lesson that was this relationship this person um this person could decide to show back up for you that's the page of cups coming up So all of the pages are earth, but so this would be earth of water, you know, earth of cups. Um, some of you right now, you're really developing your clairvoyance, like you're really getting downloads from spirit.
And it's, it's, it's serving you well here, especially in dealing with the opposite sex or whomever you are dealing with. It, it is um, the opposite energy, masculine, feminine. So you're, you're really understanding and seeing through the veil here, the veil that maybe somebody kind of tried to put over themselves. You may be getting um, a lot of psychic messages. You're going to get some happy news here, some good news, maybe even about business. There could be an admirer coming in for you. You are coming to a place of maybe becoming emotionally mature. There could be some romantic proposal. And it can even be news of pregnancy, marriage, or I don't know, birth. You're really just becoming more artistic, maybe even delving into beauty, fashion, style. There could be a new romance on the horizons for you. There's important information coming to you in the near future. It could be an invitation to a social event. There could even be gossip of the potential for a romantic proposal. Like somebody is gossiping about the fact that somebody wants to come and propose something to you, whether it's marriage or, you know, let's move in together. I don't know, some romantic gesture. Maybe someone is talking about what they want to do with you or for you. The cards are saying be, ro be more romantic and there could be a romantic admirer around you. Good news about business matters are coming to you. Just be proactive and positive. Be creative. Make sure you are planning your financial, you're having pl financial plans and maybe even researching in investments before you actually put your money into it. For your health, you're going to have, if you're waiting for test results, test results, it's going to be good. It's also indicated a pregnancy here, too. You can get uh, information about a diagnosis, if there's any. You just need to tune into your inner voice, your spirit, because your spirit guys are really trying to speak to you at this, at this time because they got you in a place of maybe putting all of your energy into you so now you can actually um you can hear from your from spirit from the other side from your ancestors because you you moved away from something that just didn't serve you this is a yes card so you're waiting for the answer of yes or no because yes the timing on this card is like September 20th to December 20th, something like that. So the answer is yes. Aquarius, a really good week for you. Um, it just looks like you're focusing on you. Um, you're betting the house on you. You're going to go in a new direction. New development is here for you. There could be some uh, beginner's luck. Especially if you're starting a new business, a new relationship. Um, if it's a new relationship, do know that it's still new, so there's no strings attached here. Um, govern, your, govern yourself accordingly. Think about what it, where you want to be. Because you're having that new start here. Anything is possible for you right now. Faithfulness and loyalty is um, being rewarded. Or you're being rewarded because of your faithfulness and your loyalty. Two, I don't know what. You know what that is. Okay, so Aquarius, if you feel like this reading resonates for you, go over to the website. Book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the bottom of your coffee link. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.